G'day Unbearable, it's Rob aka okay, Big Bear and today I'm going to be re-recording a fan favorite with how to start a dance party in OBS. Now lots changed since I last recorded this video. Source Mirror is no longer available so I'm going to teach you the new way to do it. Guys I just want to thank the sponsor of today's video Jericho Australia. Jericho Australia is an Australian owned and operated beard care product company. They have a wide array of scents that can cater to pretty much anyone's taste. They even have scentless beard oils and shampoos as well so if you're not a fan of smelling very nice you can at least get stuff to take care of yourself well so that's code big bear at checkout for 15% off jerichoaustralia.com my link and code are in the description so if you want to use them I get a kickback of 10% you get 15% off so you're going to want to download source mirror I'm going to leave a link in the description below I'm going to assume you know how to download this stuff so we're going to get right into it all right so I've opened up a brand new instance of OBS and I've got a scene here that I've already renamed Raid. Before we do that we're gonna add a new scene and I'm just gonna call this main cam and in this scene I'm going to add a new source video capture device I'm just gonna call it main and then we're gonna select the camera you can mess with your settings as you want to I'm just gonna leave them there for the purpose of this. The reason we're doing this is so that when you put a filter on the source clones it doesn't affect them. All right now that we've got main cam there we're gonna go and do a source clone here and and we're going to call this raid cam R for red. We're going to leave it as a uh, clone type source. And then we're going to do main. Okay. Don't worry about the audio. You're not going to be needing it. And we're just going to repeat this two more times. All right, now that we've got these three cameras set up, what we want to do is position them in a way where we're happy. So holding Alt on your keyboard, you're going to drag in until you have a third of the screen done. I'm going to lock it so we don't mess it up. If I wanted to, and I will because it's actually going to annoy me, I'm going to move the G over a little bit more and I'm going to move it behind the R. Okay, I'm happy with that. Nice. Okay, so we've got our three cameras down now and it's great to look at yourselves. All right, now that we've got all three cameras lined up the way we want, say hi to yourself. Yes, you're looking fantastic. Uh, now we're going to add a filter to it. So for each of these ones, you're going to go filters, effects filters, new filter, and add a color correction. You don't need to name it because it's only going to be one thing. And you want to go to color multiply, and then you're going to add your color there. If you do color add, just so you are aware, it's going to look janky. It's going to make you look real faded. So you don't want to do that. Same for red. Now we've got our RGB set up, we're going to add a scroll filter to this. So the way that I like to do it is with my outside ones, I like to add them going one way. And then for my middle one, it's going to go the opposite way. So you go back into filters and you're going to add a scroll. We're going to do a vertical scroll of 250. Yes, there we go. And you're going to leave it on loop. Now you're going to go into R and do the exact same thing with green. Now you're going to do the exact opposite. So you're going to put in the vertical scroll minus 250 and it's gonna go like that so what's next and how do we trigger this i'm glad you asked so i'm gonna assume you have streamer bot if not go download streamer bot once in streamer bot you're gonna right click and go add and we're gonna call this raid alert add it to whatever you want to that's up to you under triggers you're gonna right click and you're gonna go twitch and then you're gonna go raid and then you're gonna click raid at the bottom this can be triggered by a minimum and maximum value that's up to you so if you want to set up multiple raid alerts some that trigger with one raider or one to five and then six to ten and then 200 i don't know maybe you get raided by thousands of people but for now this is just going to be min max so any type of raid now that you've set up your triggers we're going to set up the sub actions so what's going to happen is you're going to right click and i'm setting this up in a way so that you can show who has raided you so if you want to do that please follow along first things first you go to twitch and then you go to user get user info for target change this from broadcast to the user this is going to show you who has raided you all right so after you've added this subject action to add target info from who redeemed this is going to tell you who has rated you you're going to right click and then you're going to go to core sounds play sound what, 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 
This is the sound that I'm gonna be using. Right click, you go to core, sounds, play sound, and then you add the sound from wherever you wanna do it. Now we've gotta figure out the timing. This is probably the most tedious part because, well, it is. The timing for this is pretty straightforward. You go to core, you go to delay, and then you're gonna set your delay. I believe that this is like, give or take about that for milliseconds. We're gonna wing it with this first. Once you've set your delay, you're going to go to OBS, and then you're gonna go to set active scene once that is selected you're going to select whatever scene that you want the raid to go to for this instance i'm going to select raid and then we're going to set another delay this delay is going to go actually i think this is the delay that goes for 13 by 50 this delay however will need to go for maybe 600 milliseconds i think i'm not sure we're going to wing it and find out that's the beauty of this so the next step here is we're going to test out this rate. Make sure you click save. We're gonna right click and then click test trigger. Too quick. All right, so that was too quick. So I've changed the delay to 3000 milliseconds. Make sure you click save whenever you do it and let's try again. So I have absolutely nailed the timing for that change right there. All right, so the next step is I want to put a message in chat to let everyone know who this person is and how many they rated for in case they didn't see the raid come through. So we're going to right click. We're going to go to Twitch. We're going to go to chat. We're going to send message to chat. Now, the variables for this is percent user percent. This is the user who has rated has rated the channel with percent viewers set oh that's a dollar sign percent viewers now the reason you put in percent viewers this is going to bring up the number and then this is the word once you click that click ok drag it up here and then we're gonna look at the delay for this once we've finished the raid we want this to go back to a scene so in my case i like to go to a chatting scene whilst i chat to the raiders and welcome them in however you want to set it up that's you you can just set whatever active scene you want to so i'm going to right click on set active scene and then click duplicate sub action and then double click it and then we're just going to go to main cam okay so now that we've got all this done we've clicked save i'm going to test it again so we're on our main cam as you can see and we're going to right click the trigger and test trigger perfect timing all right so it's a little bit too quick on the change that's fine. What I'm gonna do is just change this delay to maybe 15, 550. Click OK, click save. Don't try and click save before you click OK because you get that error. And we're gonna try it again. That, you know, that's not too bad. We could really go in and work it, finick it a bit more, but hey, that's pretty good. For me personally, I will go in and uh, make my raid perfect timing because I'm a stickler for that sort of thing, but it's as simple as that. If you liked how I did the dance party and you think it's simple enough, hit that like button. If you don't think it's simple enough, also hit that like button. Comment below, tell me what I could have done better, what, how I could cut corners to make it easier. Uh, if it's informative for you, please let me know. And and if I forget to put links in the description, please let me know. I'll also try to make sure that I put the source clone link in the top pin comment. Thank you very much again for Jericho Australia for sponsoring me as an affiliate and sponsoring this video. Till next time, you've been awesome. I've been Big Bear. Stay golden. Peace.